back. What up, what up, what up? We're going to give you time to hop on, and that gives us time to share. So if you're watching this part, we know you're watching the replay, so we welcome you with open arms. The fact that you chose to press play, even though you didn't catch it from the get-go, that's always a pleasant surprise. We love it. So, as you hop on, thumbs and hearts across the screen. Thumbs and hearts across the screen. Let us know where you're tuning in from, so we'll know how far our reach is reaching. And what we're going to do is share this all across the web in different groups. And we highly suggest that you do the same. Why? Because people need to understand this game. This is the only game you need to concern yourself with. <laughs> A lot of times people, you know, are distracted by other games. But this is the game you need to concern yourself with. This is the only game you should be playing. And you should be playing this game to win. Because if you win this game, then you can win in all other areas of life or many other areas in life of course there's a couple other things that go hand in hand but you want to win this game so hang tight as we share thumbs across across the screen let us know where you're tuning in from and we'll get with you here shortly yes hey i wanted to show you something real fast this so oh. no nah, look so oh yeah that looks clean and then you just bloop bloop and i can do like this one was this one you did sure yeah okay all right so Hey, y'all. Okay, so y'all been not laugh at me, but I cannot see. I cannot see. So we Man, just go. Right okay, we just go shout y'all out like this. Okay. I see Bobby, Ray Turner, Taurus, Pierre, Keisha, Billy Trent, Victor, Gwen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, y'all. Welcome. Uh, make sure as you hop on. You let us know where you are tuning in from, all right? Let us know your city and state, um, and also do us a favor and share, okay? Send us some hearts uh, as we get amped up. You see, we have another whiteboard presentation for you, um, but go ahead and like. Make sure you share, um, and then let us know where you are tuning in from, all right? And we will get started in just a second. I saw Arkansas, South Carolina, California, Texas, uh, Chicago, Washington, D.C. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for hopping on. Um, and we do appreciate all of the love on yesterday's video as well. Those numbers were absolutely in. Same. So let's do that again, all right? Because we need to get this knowledge out, all right? We are at the bottom of the totem pole as it pertains to financial education, as it pertains to financial freedom. And our people need to know what it takes in order to get ahead financially, in order to leave an inheritance for our children's children, all right? You hear us saying that in every single video. That is honestly and truly what we are all about. Uh, not only are we going to equip you with the education, you guys, but it's all on you to actually take action, all right? We say all the time, oh, our kids are our why. We do everything because of them. If that's really the case, if that's really the case, then we need you taking action, all right? We need you doing what it is that you have to do in order to make it do what it do, all right? It's all about them. It's all about their future. And it's all about generational wealth. Lisa B., Lami, I see you. Thank you so much uh, for hopping on. And we'll get started in just a second, all right? I promise you we will. Absolutely. See, this is the only game you need to concern yourself with. A lot of people are distracted by, you know, all of these shiny objects or distracted by video games or sports games or just gossip games, just games you're just playing for, for no reason, but you're not winning this game. You're not focusing on this game. So we want you to understand this game, how it applies to you, see where you fit into the equation, and regardless of where you fit into the equation, embrace it and do something about it. See, it's one thing for you to know that you need to change, but to know you need to change and not do or do what's necessary or take the initiative in order to make the change is insanity. So you don't want to know that there's a better way and not take necessary actions because that's showing a lack of, you know, respect for your own life as well as whoever is depending on you. And I'm sure you got some people in your life right now who are depending on you. So give them a reason to to call you dependable. 
So that starts with you taking some action. Understanding this game, we call it the financial game, a.k.a. the four quarters of life, because most games are broken up into quarters or halves. So this will give you a snapshot of what we mean when we bring it all full circle. Take some notes. Get ready to comment. Share this with somebody who you know can benefit. If somebody works a job, then they're playing this financial game. They need to know where they stand. If somebody is you know, building a business, then they need to know where they stand as it relates to this game. In other words, if you're making and or spending money, which many people are, you need to understand this game, especially with it being towards the end of the year when a lot of people are advertising to get your hard-earned money, advertising to get into your pockets. We got Christmas, Thanksgiving just passed. We got Christmas on the way. So a lot of people spend money in that area. But this is what you have to understand. They're playing this financial game, and they're playing it to win. And the way for them to win is to advertise to you to get you to spend money with them. Exactly. But if you don't understand what they're doing to get into your pockets, then you find yourself losing this financial game. Yes. All right. That is nothing but the truth. All right. So you ready to get started? Yeah, we can go ahead and swap the screen out and get it started. All right, y'all. So what we are about to do again, we have a whiteboard presentation. If you know anything about us, every time you hop on, you need to bring your pen and your paper. All right. Your pen and your paper so that you can take notes. All right. It is very important that you take notes, okay? So, um, we have what's called the four quarters of life. As we get the screen uh, turned around and we get ready to go ahead and start writing, go ahead and give us some thumbs, give us some hearts so that we can really get this thing popping, all right? Give us just a second. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. If you can, and you're taking notes, if you have the ability to do so, then you want to write this down exactly as it is. Pretty simple. Four quarters of life. The financial game. Give yourself four different quadrants. Call one the first quarter. Call one the second quarter. Third fourth and beyond oh we didn't even do an intro we didn't all right if you us. don't know who we are we are mr and mrs smith, smith coming to you live it is lunch time wherever you are whether you're at work off the clock whatever the case may be you want to be feeding your mind so this is your mental lunch so eat up hopefully we nourish your mind nourish your pockets and go from there and take it to a whole nother level so we can all win this game. It's a game that's been set up. We just got to understand the rules of the game. And any game that you're playing, if you understand the rules, then you're in a better position to win. But if you don't understand the rules to the game, then you're automatically set up for failure. So we don't want you set up for failure. We want you set up for success because we want to see you to win. All right. That being said, these are the four quarters of life, also known as the financial game. So with four quarters, in every game, there are increments of time that represent each quarter. In these quarters, the increments of time are represented by years. So this is what I mean. The first quarter is a person who is working a job from the age of 25 to 35. So that's 10 years. Each quarter represents 10-year increments. And the reason why we chose 25 is because 25 is usually an age where people have a job that they're, you know, planning on being at for a while or they're out of college. Most people have at least started working by this age if they're going to jump into the workforce. So with that being said, 25 to 35 is the first quarter. These are the first 10 years. Second quarter, as you guessed it, 35 to age 45. So they're in the second quarter of their life, of their working career, the second 10 years. Third quarter, age 55, I mean, age 45 to 55. That's the third quarter of your life. So ask yourself, where do you fall into these quarters? And last but not least, fourth quarter represents age 55 to age 65. And we re the reason why we cut it off right there is because at age 65, most people are at retirement age to where they're drawing social security, drawing their pension or drawing their investments. If they've been doing that 
the proper way. So we cut it off at 65. So as you can see from age 25 to age 65, it's 40 years. And most people work 40 years throughout their life, whether it's at different jobs, whether it's at the same job, most people have a 40 year career in some way, shape, form, fashion. And that equates to the four quarters of their life. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, all in increments of 10. Now, this is what you have to understand. You got anything you want to add, Queen, before I proceed? Yeah, I was just gonna this is what you got to understand. After the fourth quarter, in most games in sport, you have what's called overtime. Overtime means that it was a tie game, and in order to determine a winner, they have to go an extra quarter. So that's called overtime. But in the financial game, what do you think OT stands for? OT doesn't stand for overtime in the financial game. In the financial game, OT stands for out of time. time. And the reason why is because there's no overtime. There's no tie games. There's no ties in this situation. Most people by the age of 65, most, not all, but most, are out of energy. You know, they don't have the same drive, the same momentum, the same ambition that they once had when they felt like their golden years were going to actually be golden. And because of it, they, they give up. You know, they, they no longer want to even do anything because they feel like they have been cheated throughout life. Reason being, they've been sold this dream, this American dream of I'm going to work a job for 40 years, and by the time I retire, I'm going to have enough money to, to live off on for the rest of my life, and I'm going to enjoy the days vacationing and my grandchildren. They've been sold this dream, and then they realize that that dream was a nightmare. It was a lie. So they don't have that same ambition and they're looking back and wondering what happened in life over the past 40 years. Well, after the fourth quarter, since there's no overtime, you are out of time. Literally, figuratively, it's just not much you can do during that time. However, depending on where you are, you got to understand that you still can do a lot of things to get to where you need to be. So as we said, the four quarters, Q, Q, plus Q, and another Q equals 40 years. Now, most people who work 40 years earn at least, bare minimum, $25,000 per year. So that's what that number is down at the bottom. 40 years times $25,000 per year equals, as you can see, a million dollars. So what does that mean? That means that by the time that you reach age 65, in most cases, and many people earn a lot more than 25000 but by the time you reach age 65, in most cases, you've earned a million dollars. You've earned at least a million dollars. And people wonder why, you know, I feel as though they, they've never touched a million dollars. Most people touch a million dollars in their working career. Some of you may not even be in the third quarter and may have already had a million dollars to pass through your hands. But the question is, what do you have to show for it? Where has that million dollars gone? Do you have anything to show for it as it relates to the money that you've earned? Most people don't. So we're going to do a breakdown to show you where you should be in each quarter as this money is passing through your hands. We're cutting it real, you know, we're kind of lowballing the number because most people have earned well over 25000 in their working career after 40 years to the point where that number is a lot higher than a million dollars. But in each quarter, this is what you have to understand. You want to be in a position to where you're having something to show for your money. So if you're earning $25,000 for 10 years, that's $250,000. If you save 10% of that and had it working for you, investing for you, you, had, you would have saved $25,000. Just by having it, just by you earning $250,000, you should have $25,000, which is 10% of that working for you in your favor. That's what you want to be in a position to do. Each quarter, you should have a certain amount of money working for you. For the second quarter, by then you've earned $50,000 at least, if you made at least $25,000 during your working career. So you want to have at least $50,000 working for you. Now ask yourself, if you're in the age of 25 and 35, do you have at least $25,000 saved or, or working for you in some form of an investment or some type of portfolio income? If not, then it's time to play catch up. If you're in the second quarter, age 35 to 45, ask yourself, do you have at least $50,000 working for you in some form of an investment savings, something during that time frame? And if that's not where you are, then you still have time, but you definitely need to 
play catch up. You want to have this money working for you because it's going to take a lot more than what you're currently living off of now to take care and fund your retirement. Third quarter, by then you've earned in excess of $750,000. So you want to have at least $75,000 working for you. And the reason why I keep saying working for you is because you don't want to just have that money sitting still. You don't want to just have it in a bank account, checking account. You want to have that money somewhere gaining interest to where it's paying you in the form of dividends or it has the ability to grow. And if it has the ability to grow, then it has the ability to fund your retirement. You see, Social Security and pensions are really supplements to your income when you reach those golden years. But if you're investing your money throughout your process of going through this financial game, then you have money working for you that can offset whatever Social Security may be lacking, whatever your pension may be lacking, or your investments may supersede your pension and your Social Security altogether, which is the ultimate goal. In the fourth quarter, you want to definitely have over $100,000 working for you in some type of investment account. That's definitely what you want to do. So these are goals. These are, you know, pretty much landmarks of where you want to be depending on what quarter of life that you're in. So ask yourself, where do I fall? What quarter am I in? Am I on track? And if you're not on track, no problem. Let's get on track. And that all starts with educating, feed your mind, understanding where you are. But if you don't know where you are, then you'll never know where you're heading. So we want to get your GPS to get to where your goals are, whatever your goals may be. It may not be to have a million dollars, but whatever your goals are, you need a GPS, but it all starts with you knowing where you are. Like, just like with a GPS, you must put in your current location in order for them to determine how far or how long it'll take for you to arrive at your destination. So this is your current location. Put yourself in this, in this quadrant, whatever quadrant you fall in and ask yourself, what am I going to do to win? in this financial game. Queen, I know you got some stuff to add to them. I mean, you know, when you just think about where most people are financially, you know, the fact that we work 40 hours a week, sometimes we're working one job, two jobs, and we have nothing to show for it. You know, just statistics alone show that we don't have money in the bank. You know, we don't even have a thousand dollars, let alone $25,000 working for us. And then you have those people who say, well, I'm young. Why should I be thinking about retirement? Well, you guys, we see it over and over again. People work 40 years, as you can see in this example, and have absolutely nothing to show for. We have people struggling. We have people retiring and going back out, getting a retirement job. Please explain to me how that makes sense. So the time again is now for you to start thinking about your future, you know, for you to get your kids on the, the, get them a game plan so that they can knock out these goals at a much faster pace than you've done it. Okay. So it's all about thinking about our future. It's all about being prepared. It's all about when we retire, not going out and getting another job. Absolutely. A lot of times people retire and they get what's called a retirement job. Right. That sounds like an oxymoron because here it is. You're retired, but you have a retirement job. Retirement represents you're living off of the work that you put in during your previous years. So you definitely don't want to be the person who retires into poverty, which is literally what people are doing. And it's all because they didn't understand the rules to the game. And if you don't understand the rules to the game, then you lose by default. So these are the four quarters of life. And it ties into the financial game that we're playing. So stop playing the games that you've been playing or stop being distracted by whatever it is that's distracting you and see where you fit into these quarters of life. And once you determine where you fit, now you at least have something to strive for. So that way you're playing this game and simultaneously you're putting yourself in a position to really enjoy the fruits of your labor going forward. This is what you got to understand about retirement. I know we had a fourth quarter and said it. 65, age 55 to 65, but retirement is never based on age. We, we've been sold the lie that retirement was based on age, but it's not. Retirement is not based on age. It's based on money. So what that means is if you get your finances in a certain place to where you have money growing, you have assets accumulating, you have some passive income, you have money coming in without you punching the clock, now you can retire when you deem necessary. We literally know people who have retired 
in earlier quarters than the fourth quarter. We know people who are retired before their first quarter even started. We know people who are retired in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. You can do the same, but you got to understand that retirement is not based on age, it's based on money. So determine what your dollar amount is that you need in order to live off of. And once you determine that, now you can say, okay, I'm not, I'm not retiring when I'm 60. I'm going to be full of energy, spunk, and, you know, still looking young and able to uh, enjoy my retirement because I'm going to retire at the age of 40, age 45. Whatever age you say you want to retire at, you can set that standard for yourself, and now you're chasing that dollar amount, that investment amount, that asset accumulation quantity, so that way you can land on that goal and retire when you deem necessary, and then by the age of 65, the money that you draw at that age is just bonus money. It's just extra play money because you retired well ahead of the time that they said you should retire. So this is what we want you to understand. Not only are we giving you the quarters of life and giving you an understanding of what the financial game means and where you fit in and how you need to you know, position yourself to win in this financial game, we also offer solutions that teach you how you can win in this game no matter where you are it all starts with having a strategy it all starts with having a game plan it all starts with you connecting with the right people and taking the necessary steps also meaning taking some form of action as we said at the beginning of the video nothing happens until you take some action so we want you to take some action but ask yourself what court are you in and what do you plan to do to win how do you plan to win this financial game? We have a solution for you that can help you get in position to win in this financial game, get you in position to where you're in an early retirement position. That should be a challenge that's put out there. Let's, let's retire early. Let's not wait until we're a senior citizen to retire. Let's retire as early as we possibly can. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people may be in the fourth quarter already, and you, know, you may not be in a position to retire early, but at least... You can start putting some things in place that can supplement the income that you earn when you retire. But are you ready to win before you're out of time? Remember, in this financial game, OT stands for out of time. There's no overtime in this financial game. So are you ready to win before you're out of time? If you're ready to win before you're out of time, let us know in the comments. Give whoever shared this video with you or tagged you to this video and let them know, hey, I'm ready to win, you know, before I'm out of time. So, what should they type in the comments if they want to reach out to us directly? Let's type in winning. Winning. Let's type in winning. W-I-N-N-I-N-G. All right? Because if you are ready to win before you are out of time, we need to work on your game plan. So, babe, here's another thing. Because some people are probably wondering, you know, I'm in the second quarter. I don't have $50,000 right. working for me. Or I'm in the third quarter. I don't have $75,000 working for me. What can I do to catch up? Mm -hmm. Or am I out of luck? So what are some of the solutions? Even though it's still going to take them putting in the work, what are some of, some of the just simple solutions we can give people to, to start catching up? Good question. First, you got to take a cold, hard look at where your scenario is. How much debt do you have? Do you have some type of, you know, other stream of income that you're currently earning? Or can you create some form of additional stream of income? You know, how does your, 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 your investments look, if you have any? How does your 401k retirement savings look, if any? Figure out where you are first and foremost, and then set a game plan or a goal to which you want to accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish. So if you want to, if you have a lot of debt that you need to get rid of, then you need to position yourself to do so. We have a strategy that we recommend that teaches people how to shift their income from having negative cash flow to positive cash flow. And it's working for people all across the nation. We feel that it can definitely work for you, but that income shifting strategy encompasses everything that I listed. It includes you increasing your cash flow, not doing anything additional, doing what you're already doing. So you may be working a job currently, but you might be losing money and we can show you how to increase cash flow so that the job that you're currently working can bring you in more revenue than it currently is bringing in. With that extra revenue, you're able to get out of debt faster. You're able to better your credit. You're able to save more money. You're able to invest your way to wealth, which puts you in a position of conquering that 25,000, 50,000, 75,000 and have that money working for you a lot sooner than if you try to do it all by yourself. So we have a strategy that we recommend, but you definitely want to see 
what it is that you currently have going on, how can you increase your cash flow? How can you make any additional income? How can you have multiple streams of income? And we don't mean getting a second job. If you saw our video from yesterday, two <laughs> jobs are for two people. We're talking about clean streams of income that you can start generating so you can play catch up. That's really what it's all about. So find out where you are and what you're willing to do and what levels of effort you can tolerate. And sometimes it may include going above and beyond, going harder for a certain amount of years so you can live like no one else is able to live during those golden years. All right, you answered that. I mean, to the T. So again, everybody, get with the person who invited you to this video, all right? They're probably a business partner of ours. Ask, you, ask them, you know, what's the game plan to get ahead, to catch up, to get to where you want to be depending on the quarter that you are currently in. If you are following us directly, feel free to inbox us. If you have our number, shoot us a text message. Let us know that you are ready to win in the financial game. That's all I got. You got anything else? That's all I got. Type winning in the comments if you want to win with us. If you saw this video organically through us, type winning in the comments so we can set up a game plan so you can win this financial game before you are out of Time. Um, That's all we got. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Signing out. Salute.